This is The Tick, Dallas Fort Worth's all sports, all the time radio station. Your home for breaking sports news first guaranteed. So tune us in, turn it up, and keep it on. Sports Radio 1310 and 96.7 FM, The Tick. We're at UTD this morning in Richardson. It's our users' tour of Metroplex College campuses. We were just talking about what a cool crest they have. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know they were the Comets, number one. So I learned that today. I also didn't know the school colors here at UTD are the same colors as the U. That's right. They've got kind of that dark orange, uh, not not a real bright like Tennessee orange, but um, uh, more of a burnt orange, mm -hmm. but with the green of Miami, so it looks very much like the U when you just look at it. I didn't realize the school is this big. Undergrad around 27,000? Mm -hmm. You bet. Right. You bet. This campus is huge, too. Hell yeah. It is 938. The Muser's tour of college campuses continues. Today we are at UTD's campus in Richardson. Had a great morning out here. And joining us now is Bill Pettit, the athletic director here at UTD. Thanks for stopping by. Guys, hey, this is a big deal, you guys being here. This is game day for us. I mean, oh. We're waiting for Corso. I mean, this is, this is as big, <laughs> big as it gets for us. So we're glad you're here. Well, thank you very much. We've had a really warm welcome from the UTD. Uh, UTD folks, and uh, we've had a great time this morning. All right, I am fascinated with the athletic department at a school like UTD because this isn't UT Austin, right? Where everything comes pretty easily for you if you're the athletic director or if you're the head coach of whatever sport it might be. But at UTD, you are Division Three, right? You've got some very successful programs. The basketball teams have been really good. We just talked to your chess program yep. <laughs> 30 minutes ago. Uh, what is it like to run an athletic program at the Division Three level in a Metroplex like this where you're battling with the Cowboys and the Rangers and the Mavericks for attention? Well, as far as the attention, I don't know that we expect a whole lot other than just our campus community and with a mile or two and the people that love UTD. Those are the ones that we really focus on. And then, as most people may know or may not know, Division Three is a level where we give no athletic scholarships. So when a kid comes to school here, they're really coming for the academic piece, but they've played, you know, volleyball or soccer or whatever for their entire youth career, and they want to continue to play. And so you find that kind of perfect niche here where you are able to play your sport that you've loved for so long, but you're also going in for the uh, for the academics. So, you know, in Division Three, there's about 450 Division Threes across the country. It's the largest uh, division in uh, in the NCAA. You know, the big Texas, those schools, there's about 125. And then what used to be one double A, there's about the same number, about 125. And there's about 300 Division Twos. But 40% uh, of all uh, NCAA participants come from the Division Three model. Hmm. So, and you had uh, you've had a good year. Your uh, your basketball teams did really well. The, the boys and girls did well, didn't they? The ladies had an incredible year this year. And I know our head coach is here, Polly Thomason, and oh, just, oh wow, hi, go go coach. Made it to the Sweet 16. Had a tremendous season. Uh, um, here's a quick water cooler fact of your college tour towns that mm -hmm. you've been in. Uh, which school has made more NCAA selection appearances since 2010? It would be UT Dallas. Wow, really? We've had 10 tournament, uh, tournament appearances since 2010. I think SMU's had about eight, North Texas seven, and UTA's had four. I did not know that. So we've had a lot of success on a lot of different areas. Our men's and women's tennis team made the tournament a couple of years ago. Our men's soccer team made it back in the fall. We hosted two rounds of the NCAA for that. Uh, Polly's team, again, went to the Sweet 16. We got to host two rounds for that. Uh, the men's basketball team's had an incredible run. They've made four Sweet 16 appearances in the last seven years. Wow. Uh, made an Elite Eight appearance, and we hosted uh, two rounds of the tournament a year ago. So we've really, really done awfully well. It's it's a young university and a young department. Uh, the university itself is under 50 years old. Uh, and kind of put that in perspective, North Texas started Started football back in 1913. It was 55 years later before UTD became a university. Wow. Mm. And we didn't add freshmen until 1990, so we're only a four-year school for the last 25 years. The um, the athletic department, we're in our 17th year of athletics, and uh, again, to kind of put that in perspective, we played our first soccer game in 1998, and six months later, Bob Stoops was hired as the coach at Oklahoma. Mm. 
So we've had a lot of success in a very short period. And you tried to get him to coach the soccer team, right? <laughs> yeah, and it <laughs> just didn't work out. Deal, yeah. just didn't work out. <laughs> so I'm interested in what you think the future looks like for UTD Athletics because there are other schools in the University of Texas system that have gotten pretty big athletically, like UT San Antonio and right. UTEP, and they've they've grown into Division One teams in certain sports. Do you think that's in the future for UTD? Well, I think when they started athletics 17 years ago, they never dreamed we'd be at this spot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 20 years from now, who knows where we'll be? Division One, very possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're very comfortable right now with the Division Three model, uh, really focusing on the academic part. Facilities, we're always continuing to try to improve, and that's something we would have to do to get to that point. Sure. So, I, I, I don't have any idea, to be honest with you. You don't have a master plan to rule the world? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have a plan, but you just never know. So, right. uh, But I do think there's some great things ahead for the department. You used to be in radio, didn't you? Yeah, well, uh, we've actually met a couple I of times. Knew, uh, well, you know each other. You were a TSN affiliate, were you not? You know, it's funny. I did some playoff games there for them Okay. Uh, back when I was at Tech. I went to Texas Tech, Yeah. and they would pick us up on some of those, uh, you know, playoff. I guess Simon it was, Shamrock and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I, you know, I lived down in the Midland area, so we did those Permian Basin games sometimes, yeah. and we would come to town. And then uh, when I worked at UT Arlington, we met a few times there. Yes, okay, that's where you're, and you were also at UTSA as well, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I knew we knew each other at some point. Yeah, yeah. So is athletics uh, is athletics any more honest than radio? Uh, there's a lot of similarities. <laughs> you know, if you need a radio guy for UTD Athletics, George just got fired at North Texas. Yeah, they kicked me out. So he's, a, he's available. I hear he's a Hall of Famer. So that's uh, that uh, will be on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, I think I'm done for. All. You did have our mentor though, Bill Mercer, doing some games here recently, didn't you? Bill has uh, done it for quite a while, and then he went to North Carolina. And uh, Jimmy Christopher's been doing our games last. Has he really? Years. Jimmy yeah. the Saint. Oh, that's great. You'll have to YouTube him and put uh, UTD and Whitworth, that's a game we did last year that really got us kind of uh, some recognition because of his call of uh, last for a homer shot. call. Yeah, he was oh, on a wow, homer okay. call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a swim team? Because we're sitting here looking at the pool. You know, we do not, but there's actually been talk about that. So, uh, you know, that's something that we've discussed. Because George really? is a big swimmer and he still has some eligibility left. We don't have a diving well. That kind of poses a problem for a swim uh, yeah. team. Yeah. How many lanes you got in there? I don't, I don't think a half a dozen. That's so. enough. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can host a meet here. Yeah, you bet. Let's get a swim in the pool. Did you dominate oh, in there? Oh, yeah. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, that's great. Well, the people out here have been really nice, and uh, obviously you have a really nice little niche here. And this campus has its own real identity. We've noticed that. It's you know it's right in the middle of Richardson and Plano and Dallas. But, you, I mean, you can tell when you drive on, you almost have your own secluded uh, identity here, don't you? I just don't think people realize how big this campus has grown. We're going to be at about 25,000 students in the fall. Uh, we're the second largest Division three in the country next to NYU. They have about 50,000. Wow. If we should, it's someday go Division Two, we would be the second largest Division Two in the country. Huh. Hmm. So it's a, it's a big university that has grown incredibly over the last uh, four years. They've grown nine percent each year, thirty six percent growth, and you know the academics are at a very high level. It's uh, on par with Rice, and you know a lot of times our recruits will uh, will lose a recruit to an Ivy League school just as much as a school in our conference. Wow! And so. Uh, you know, oftentimes we'll be in the mix for a kid, and then at the last minute they'll decide they want to go to Princeton because they got some money or things like that. So it's a challenge for our coaches, but they do an incredible job of kind of combing the country, finding the real high academic kid that can play at this level because it may say Division Three on the uh, letter, but the um, the quality of play, I would put it up with most mid-majors. The lower mm -hmm. mid-majors at Division One, our teams could compete with those teams uh, on a daily basis. So. Yeah, didn't you all be UTA in basketball a couple years ago? You know, I was at UTA when that happened, and we were stunned. And uh, <laughs> Terry Butterfield's team did a great job. They came in there and beat us on our home floor, yeah. took the guarantee money and the win that night. Man, <laughs> so, how about that? Yeah. And your baseball team's won 14 out of 17. They Imagine are that, on right? fire right now. You got a they baseball player that's here this morning, so... All right, good deal. Well, Bill, congratulations. Good to see you again. Thanks. And uh, good luck to the Comets program here at UTD. We appreciate you guys being here. Come by anytime. You bet. That's Bill Pettit, the athletic director here at the University of Texas at Dallas.
We'll check in with O'Norm next. On the station for sports and all that implies. Sports Radio 1310 and 96.7 FM, The Ticket.